oh, it's that time again. It's tax refund season. So what other top 10 tarantulas to blow your tax refund on this year? Well, keep watching to find out. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and if you enjoy videos like this, as well as all things tarantula related, make sure you hit that like button so future keepers can find this info further on down the line. And if you find some value in this information, make sure you subscribe. This time of year, at least here in the US, it's time to start filing taxes. And for those of us that have been paying into taxes all year, it's the time of year we start getting some refunds. I don't know how tax system works in other countries, so I don't know if this will apply to you at all. Essentially what we'll be talking about today though is the top 10 most expensive tarantulas, or at least the top 10 coolest tarantulas to add to your collection if you got a little bit of extra spending money. Now I'm aware that tarantulas cost different prices depending on what country you live in. There's also the supply and demand to take into consideration. So what's expensive this year may not be that expensive next year. It all depends on how many are bred and how many people are looking for them. But at least right now and right here, these are the best prices that I could find. But it isn't all about price. This also has to do with just the beautiful coloration and some of them are pretty rare. So that kind of played into it more than just their cost. Now, any the prices I talk about in this episode is going to be what it would cost to get a sling. It's somewhere between like a quarter of an inch to an inch. And these are just kind of averages or estimates. I'm not selling tarantulas at these prices. I'm not selling any tarantulas at all. All right, so let's get to blowing some money. So number 10 is an old world arboreal tarantula that comes from India. It is a brightly colored tarantula that's very popular in the hobby and has a price that can swing anywhere from over $100 to as little as 50 bucks. And this is one of a very few species of tarantula that people have actually had success keeping them communally in captivity. Now it is a jewel in anyone's collection, but a communal can get very expensive very fast. Of course, I'm talking about the Postlotheria metallica or the Goody Sapphire ornamental. Now this New World Terrestrial grows rather large with a seven and a half inch leg span and comes from Colombia. It is a very brightly colored tarantula with pinkish orangish legs that fade into black and a black carapace that has a gorgeous pink sunburst pattern. Now this large tea is just an overall impressive specimen. So number nine is the Pamphibetus solaris or the Colombian pink sunburst tarantula that comes in around $300. Now number eight is one of my favorite New World Terrestrial Tarantulas with its bright orange and black coloration. It's a very docile tarantula, but also slow growing, so you need to be very patient with this species. The fact that they are so slow growing means it's much more difficult for them to breed as it's harder to have a male and female available at the same time, which leads to a shortage of these on the market and supply and demand as it is drives that price up pretty high. But if you got a little extra money to burn and you come across one of these for sale, you should definitely pick it up. And number eight is the Afonopelma bicoloratum or the Mexican blood leg tarantula that comes in around $185 a piece. Now here we have another New World Terrestrial Tarantula, but this is more for the intermediate type keeper based on this tarantula's size, speed, and husbandry requirements. Now this species comes from one of the largest genus of tarantulas, so they no doubtedly get very big. Another issue to contend with is the urticating hairs because they can be quite irritating. One of the nice things about these spiderlings is that they already start out very large and they grow pretty quick. And this species stands apart from the other two species in this genus because of their bright pink 
plateaus that you can see early on in their life. Of course, number seven is the Theraphosa Apophysis, or the Goliath Pink Toe Bird Eater, which is gonna cost you about $175. Now this is a fairly new species that was just described in 2014, and I believe it's just made its way into the hobby in the past couple of years. It's an old world fossorial tarantula that spends most of its time hiding in its burrow which is a shame because it has this very psychedelic color pattern with these shimmering blues and purples, each fading into the other all the way down the body. And even though it spends a lot of its time hiding in its burrow, it's still one of the most beautiful and most exciting species in my collection. So number six is the Haploclastus devamatha, or the polychromatic earth tiger, with spiderlings of this species ranging anywhere from 120 to $200 a piece. Now this next species is very exciting. It's a New World Terrestrial Tarantula that was first imported into the US just a few years ago by Fear Not Tarantulas and was the first time captive bred slings were available for purchase here in the States. Now this species is painfully slow to grow, but it's worth every moment. This species was first described in 1995 and was named after Barbara Moore, one of the co-founders of the American Tarantula Society. They are endemic to the Sonoran Desert along the US-Mexico border. Order. And their bright green, red, and blue coloration makes them look almost like a very hairy green bottle blue tarantula. If you can find one of these spiderlings for sale, they're probably gonna run you about $250 right now. So number five on this list is the Afonapelma more, or the Mexican Jade Fuego Tarantula. Now up next is another Asian arboreal tarantula that's fairly reclusive, but when they are out on display, they do not disappoint the eyes. The species kinda looks like the Omothymus violicepes, but with more of a gold coloration and deeper blues, as well as a unique pattern on their abdomen that really makes them stand out. Now if you can find any in stock anywhere, they're running around 150 bucks right now. So number four is the Formingaculus species Saba Blue. Now number three is a tarantula that's been on my list for a while. Now this species was first described in 1903 and is a new world terrestrial tea that is endemic to Trinidad. Despite its colorful and unique appearance, it's relatively rare to find one available in the hobby. The last few times I saw them available for sale, I waited too long and missed my chance, but I hope to add one to my collection very soon. Their blue legs with gold stripes and copper carapace makes them one of the most enviable tarantulas in anyone's collection. So number three is a Pseudohapolis trinitatis, known commonly as the Trinidad Copper Tarantula, which costs around $110 a piece. Now for number two, we've got another New World Terrestrial Tarantula. It's extremely beautiful, but also extremely expensive. This is an opportunistic burrower that comes from the tropical rainforests of Colombia and has quite the feeding response. Females can live for nearly 20 years and have a leg span around seven inches. With their dark blue legs and their pinkish, reddish, metallic-y kind of carapace, the golden setae on the black abdomen, they are truly one of nature's best works of art. Spiderlings can easily start off at $225 a piece and go up from there based on supply and demand. So number two is the Zenethus species blue. Now, 
before we get to number one, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what your dream tarantula is. What species that you would like to buy if you had a little bit of extra money to blow. It could be a species I've already mentioned on this list or a species you think should be on this list that's not. Now, if you found this video helpful or entertaining, go ahead and hit that like button while you're down there and don't forget to subscribe. Now, there's a few species that didn't make the top 10 list, but I really think should be included with an honorable mention. So before we get to number one, here's a few species that almost made the cut. The Brazilian Blue Dwarf, which spiderlings right now are running around $65 a piece. Also just barely fallen short to making the list was the Harpictera pulchripes or the Golden Blue Lake Baboon, which can run anywhere between $55 to $100. All right, now this last species is not only a tarantula that I've personally been looking to add to my collection for quite some time, but from all the posts that I've been reading online, it seems a lot of other people are looking for this tea as well. Very rarely have I seen this tarantula available for sale, but the few times that I have, I just didn't have that kind of disposable income available at that moment to justify buying this tarantula. Now, hopefully I'll be able to find one for sale at the same time I have a little bit of extra money to burn, and it will definitely become one of the most treasured jewels in my collection. This is a new world terrestrial tarantula that's endemic to Panama, and it may be the most unique tarantula of all of them on this list. With their bluish black legs that are lighter in color on the tips, that transition into bright red as the legs approach the body. They have a bright red abdomen with a black tiger stripe pattern, affectionately referred to as the lava spider. This rare and unique species is the Theraphosini species Panama, which easily is gonna cost you between $250 to $300 per spiderling. If there's any species I left off my list, be sure to leave that down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, it means a lot to me. And if you wanna support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. Check the description down below this video for links to all the different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Tarantula Collective merchandise, other websites, magazines, podcasts, all things Tarantula related are gonna be linked down below. If you do pick up any of these species, I'd love to see your pictures in the Tarantula Collective Facebook group. I upload new videos every Tuesday for Tarantula Tuesday, so if you want to get caught up on all the past episodes, I'll leave a playlist link at the end of this video. Now I got to get back to taking care of my tarantulas, so I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>